He was called the true voice of America, legendary singer and drummer Levon Helm. He was the only non-Canadian member of the iconic rock group, The Band. Helm had been battling throat cancer. He died today at the age of 71. Paul Hunter now, with the legacy Helm leaves behind and his deep ties to Canada. Who'd have thought you could take four guys from Southern Ontario, add a drummer from Arkansas, and make something like this? Levon Helm, that drummer from Arkansas who died today, was the heart, the backbone, and the voice of the band called The Band. They backed Bob Dylan. They played Woodstock. In fact, back then, they lived in Woodstock. But if you missed the 60s, well, in a sense, so did they. The trend at the time, of course, was the uh, the acid rock phase. That was the new trend. That was the new fad that was going on and uh, tune in, turn on and, and drop out, that kind of thing. We just, you know, steered uh, clear of, of all that. Steered clear, the band ignored pop music and it worked. With Helm's gnarly southern backwoods voice, it was as if you knew these songs before you'd even heard them. It was a fellow musician from Arkansas, Ronnie Hawkins, who recruited Helm in the 1950s. Some people, you know, some people got that gift. And he was just developed in two, in two or three years. One of the greatest drummers you've ever seen. It was just all that natural talent. Hawkins brought Helm to Toronto. In those days, they were the Hawks. In Canada, at the time, we could play the whole week in one club, maybe be held over for another week and move on. So it was, it was, it was better work. When they cut their teeth in the Toronto club scene, who knew the heights they'd reach? By the time the band held its farewell concert in 76, the last waltz, Johnny Mitchell. Music royalty turned out to pay tribute. You take what you need and you leave the rest. In later years, cancer would rob Helm of his voice, but he recovered and kept singing, if only for a while, with that desperate, crazy, perfect voice that now survives Levon Helm. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.